one we're going to do a three-dimensional pendant today. We had done it with the charms inside and today we're going to do it with um, some snail shells. We th I thought it would be kind of fun, kind of neat. Um, we have the, the bezel which is just plain silver. It's a round one and I didn't feel like cutting paper so all I did was I took a little bit of a copper acrylic paint, put it in the background and I'm going to put in the snail shells and I'll show you how to do that. Here's our bezel and it's ready to go. It's dry. Here are the snail shells. What I did do with the 3D crystal lacquer is I put, I had squirted some of it in the snail shells in hopes of getting fewer air bubbles as it all starts to go in, into it when I put it into the pendant. So what I have done is I prepared those and then all you want to do is kind of come up with a placement that you like with the coloring that you like. I have them all glued in now, we'll just let them set up and when the glue is dry, we'll put in the 3D lacquer. The glue's all dry, it's all in there secure, so now we're going to take it and put the 3D lacquer in there. This is the 3D crystal lacquer and I told you about it on the last video, the last pendant video. So go around, this one is a little bit different because you're going to have to kind of fill in some of the edges first and then come back and again this probably will take two two to four probably coats but this stuff is nice because it doesn't um, it doesn't have as many bubbles as some of the other products and I had gotten it online so just kind of go around and it'll settle into the into the spaces and you let the first coat dry and it probably will take a couple more coats so just leave it be until it, it's clear and then put on your next coat. I'm going to put a little bit on top of the shells right now so that can dry. 